our way over to the Sun Belt for this one. Uh, the Louisiana Raging Cajuns. They're going to head down to Mobile. They'll take on the South Alabama Jaguars, 5 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN+. Plus. So, again, make sure your internet is working better than mine. South Alabama, a 10-point home favorite, and the total at BetUS sits at 55 on this one. South Al, they won last year's meeting 20-17 to 17 on the road, but Louisiana had won six straight prior to that. Uh, this, this South Alabama renaissance is a, a new thing, right? Uh, the Raging Cajuns, they're 3-6 and six against the spread on the road since the start of last season, uh, but the Jags ain't much better. They're just four and five against the spread at home in that span. Now, some of those numbers have gotten a little crazy, but also it's tough to cover when you're losing teams like Central Michigan at home, right? That South Alabama has just been all over the place this year. Kyle, we'll start with you. Uh, over the past four weeks, Louisiana has run the ball nearly 60% of their offensive snaps, and they've been pretty good. Number 21 in PPA per rush, uh, but South Alabama is number two in that metric on defense over the last four weeks. The biggest issue for Louisiana lately uh, their defense has just completely fallen off. Number 131 in success rate allowed in the last four weeks. Uh, Kyle, what are your thoughts here? Well, South Alabama has an excellent defense. Louisiana's defense, not good at all. 114th in success rate for the season. They're sixth in explosiveness allowed, so they don't give up those big plays. But uh, they've kind of decided that they're not going to give up big plays. But what happens, as Parker has said before, death by a thousand cuts is what happens to them consistently. Um, I don't love that strategy, you know, consistently, if you're going to give up that many successful plays, it's usually not a very good thing. South Alabama has been amazing in the red zone, 22 touchdowns, 27 trips into the red zone, not as good as anybody in the country. Louisiana's third in the nation in yards per carry, but I don't think um, Zeon Chris, if I pronounce that wrong, I apologize, but Chris, the quarterback there for Louisiana, he hasn't really proven himself as a passer. He's a rusher first, in my opinion. I would rather bet South Bama here, but based on my number, the number wasn't quite low enough for me to take it, so I'll just lean that way. Yeah, the uh, the freshman quarterback for Louise, I mean, there's a there's a reason why they're rushing as much as they are, right? Uh, Parker, I can't get over these Louisiana defensive numbers. I mean, it lasts four weeks. They're giving up 2.66 points per drive. That's number 103 in the country. Uh, they're number 83 in net points per drive. South Alabama is number three. Uh, tell me how you break this one down. Yeah, South Alabama's a wagon. Just pretend the Central Michigan game didn't happen. I don't know what happened. I watched it. I looked at the box, box score. No idea. Can't could, cannot tell you what happened. <laughs> Losing to James Madison, fine. This is going to happen to you. It happens to the best of us. No big deal. That Central Michigan game, we were on vacation. Nothing happened. I have no idea. The thing that really uh, strikes me here is, one, on offense, like you mentioned, all Louisiana can do is rush. But I'll talk about the defense for a second. South Alabama, 48th in EPA per rush. That's a that's a point of adjusted. So that's 48th out of the nation, out of 133 teams. That's very, very good in terms of what they're allowing. Teams are rushing 4.2 percentage points more against Louisiana. That's 108th most. Uh, so teams are rushing a ton, and their rushing defense is very, very good. They're going to be able to absolutely swarm Louisiana here. And then, yeah, you guys know those those previews that I do. Uh, the offense versus defense here is all blue for South Alabama, all red for Louisiana. They're an absolute disaster. 123rd EPA per pass, 119th in EPA per rush, 96th. Uh, allowing 3.97 points per quality of possession. South Alabama is going to be able to score with impunity. Um, even if even if the total doesn't get that high, I think they'll distance themselves. So let's, uh, again, we're pretending Central Michigan didn't happen. South Alabama is a bit of a wagon. I'm going to trust them here. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Let's go. Uh, yes, Parker and I are both going to lock up South Alabama here. They have been rolling. I don't trust a freshman quarterback on the road against Kane Womack's defense. Give me the Jags minus the 10 here. Uh, we'll both lock this thing up. I think South Alabama getting ready to roll through the Sun Belt. Uh, I feel I feel good about this one. 